Lady Deadpool painting. I was really excited to do this project and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to take you guys into how you can resin your own artwork and also the steps I took to create this right here. Let's jump right into the video. Really excited about this project. Um, it kind of just came to me on a whim. I, I thought, what if I do a Lady Deadpool type of thing and then I add something unique to it? So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and put this together. So here I'm just blocking in the areas just with, um, I think it's a, a Naples red or I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> But just kind of getting a base coat down, just kind of mapping things out. Then I'm going to start going in with the darker red now. Whether I'm working in acrylics or oil paint, or even um, when I used to work with uh, color pencil, I was always, well, I always follow the rule of thumb of building up your layers, right? So depending on what the medium is, I start off light and then I gradually increase to the darker tones. Um, the only rule of exception is that with oils, I tend to go with the dark first and then I work into the lighter tones, right? So here we're just, as you see, now I'm putting in darker red. That was actually um, a primary red and burnt umber mix. So it just tinted it a bit. Um, you don't want to really add black to your tints because then it could get a little muddy looking. And then here with the highlights, I used some unbleached titanium and then I use some um, primary red again. So here you're gonna see me add the highlights for the black uh, portion of the painting. I just used some paints gray and white. I went in with some primary blue. I didn't really like how it looked. So you're gonna see me go over it with black again. And there we have it. I, I just felt that the blue kind of threw everything kind of off. The pistols was kind of, it was, it was kind of challenging to do. All right, so if you notice, I've been working from the back and working forward. That's typically how I paint or how I draw. I start off with the background and I start off with the things in the back and then I work my way to the forefront figures and um, pieces and whatnot. So the last part of this painting that we're gonna do is the hands and then that would complete the painting portion of things. And then we just gotta go in and add some small details and then that'll be it. So now we're done the painting portion and now I'm just going to add in some small details and then we can move on to the next step. So what I'm doing here is I'm just whisking some strands in here just to add a little bit more depth to it. Nothing too super detailed because this is a comic book type of piece so Alright, so I let the painting dry for 24 hours, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spray it with this matte finish just to seal the painting and protect it right before we put the resin on. So we have the resin here, we have the hardener here. Gonna need a mixing cup. Gonna need something to mix it with. Gonna need some sort of scraper or spreader to move around the resin. Gonna need a blowtorch. And you're also gonna need something to prop up the painting. What I like to use are painters pyramids. I find these are the best thing to use. You could also use any sort of plastic cap or anything. A Lego block even works. Now before you start your resin, one thing I like to do is I like to get some painter stick. I like to put it along the edges. That's because when you use the resin, it's gonna drip down the sides. And what the tape does is catch it. And when it dries and everything, you can just peel the tape right off. You don't have to worry about cutting the driplets off. So this is a 16 by 20 canvas. So what it's saying is that we need five and a half parts resin, five and a half parts hardener, 
Let's go ahead and mix it. We gotta mix it for three minutes after. I just thought of something. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit of glitter to it. Can you see it there? Yeah. So don't need much. Just a little bit. Then we're gonna mix it in now. Everything's all nice and mixed. What I like to do is I like to pour it in the center and then work my way out. So we got our scraper now, or our spreader. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover the whole area. Now this is my favorite part, so we gotta take this and we gotta get all that fog out and those bubbles, right? So, there we go. So we're just gonna use the torch and we're just gonna go over it and get rid of that. Got rid of all that fog, all those bubbles. However, I think that's a little idea. What if? What if? What if we put some bullet casings on this? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna randomly place them. Wedge it onto the canvas a bit. So that's the first one there. These are 45s. So I got some 9 millimeters and I got some. So. Alright, so it's been a bit over 24 hours, so let me show you guys how it looks. This is gonna be my first look also. Put that there. Yeah, look at that, look at that, these bullets aren't going anywhere, look at that, that's solid, that's right in there, barely even budges, let me show you again, that one's really embedded in there, the resin held it really good, now remember I told you guys about the tape catching the driplets, this is, this is exactly what I was talking about, so with that now, we can just peel the tape right off and it gets rid of that problem. Bam, there it is. I actually really like how this turned out. The glitter gives a nice little sparkle to it. The bullet casings are a nice little touch to it. I think it, it fits perfect for what the character is. How do you guys like the picture? Make sure to comment below, let me know. Or you can also hit me up on Instagram. I'll have it up on there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.